you're going to have a remake of an 80s classic, uh, you better do it right. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Amazon Prime's latest uh, content is a remake. Roadhouse is directed by Doug Lyman, who is responsible for movies like uh, The Edge of Tomorrow and Matt Damon's Born Identity. And remakes for me are 50-50 chance I'm, I'm going to like it. And that's as far as I'm going to go. Um, a lot of times they are hit and miss. And this is a perfect example. Jake Gyllenhaal, who plays Dalton, former UFC fighter who's on the end of his rope. You could tell by his body language that he's got a lot of going on. A lot, of go a lot going on inside of his head. And he ultimately takes this job in, out in Key West, Florida, uh, at a, a bar called uh, The Roadhouse. And from there, it's just pure mayhem. This is a remake that you go in not looking for, um, you know, the, the intense conversations, the the hookups, the romance. This is a, you're waiting for a bomb to drop. I gotta say, Jake Jonah Hall, don't get me wrong, he's a terrific actor. I like his work, like his movies. But here he is zombified. He's a zombie to me. He's just really laid back and waiting for something to happen, waiting for something to tick him off. But also part of his job as a bouncer, um, he's just by the bar, uh, having a drink, um, enjoying the music, the local music within this roadhouse. I get a guy like Conor McGregor who is hired to finally take out the trash, take out Dalton, and have this big old brawl. There are some moments where there's flashbacks of him, of Jake Gyllenhaal in the octagon fighting. Those kind of went nowhere. The, there was no rhyme or reason for them other than he got the crap kicked out of him. And I didn't like that. There's an empty slot with his backstory. Like, why am I supposed to care about this guy other than he has a job to do? He's been stabbed. He's been punched multiple times. Like, what else do I need? Give me a reason to care about him. Just a lot of nonsensical action that goes on that carries a lot of this, the weight of this movie. As far as the story goes, it, it's it's really forgettable. Um Ultimately, you have a guy who sets out to do a job. He does it, but it takes him. It's a difficult process, and he hits the road by the end of the movie. Spoilers if you haven't seen it. Talking about the original Roadhouse film with Patrick Swayze, I watched it, and I found it quite found it to be quite odd. Um, I had a hard time contemplating figuring out like what's this guy's job exactly at this roadhouse. A lot of times he's just scoping out the bar. If you've never seen the original, that's what we get from this Dalton character. Overall, this one's uh, forget easily forgettable. Uh, it's not terrible, but it's I'm, I don't recommend it. Guys, have you seen uh, Jake Gyllenhaal's Roadhouse on Amazon Prime? Let me know in those comments below what's your favorite Jake Gyllenhaal uh, performance so far. Can't wait to give you guys more content on the way. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.